You guys, it's January 29th, 2023. We're getting some snow already. It's 11.56 a.m. Look at how fast these clouds are rolling in. Look at how fast these clouds are rolling in. It is awesome sauce. So how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing great. It's good to see you guys today. Good to, good to do these videos for you guys. You guys are so nice. This is the coolest thing ever. So thank you guys. If you guys like what I'm doing, please hit like, please hit subscribe. And it looks like we're gonna get to 500 likes on the Big Bear Coffee Roasting video, guys. So I'm gonna have to go buy those two $50 Visa or MasterCard gift cards for you guys. Um, I'm excited to, to, to do that for you guys. You know, it's, uh, um, I'd like to do that a lot more for you guys. Um, you know, um, it's just kind of tough financially, but you know what? Like you guys have been so good to me. I'm going to start doing this stuff more often for you guys. I love you guys. Like, you guys are amazing. And thank you for helping Chris, the owner of Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, with all the beautiful comments and so many people saying you're going to come in and drink some of his coffee when you come up here. I love you guys. So thank you. Like, you guys are, you guys are amazing. You guys change people's lives. Do you realize this? You guys change lives. You guys have saved my life. Thank you. So anyway, we're getting a little bit of light. Drizzle snow, I call it drizzle snow because it's really, really, really light drizzle snow. All right, cool. Light drizzle snow. Look at these clouds rolling in though. Look at how fast. That's what I loved coming up here as a kid because we would, we would always only be up here for the snow and skiing. So there's no one behind us, so I'm not holding any, anyone up. But guys, check this out. We're heading towards Bear right now, but look at those clouds just blowing from right to left. And from the naked eye, it's incredible seeing them roll in. Guys, watching the storms come into Big Bear is awesome. Um, just like most mountain ranges, our weather up here can change in an instant. It can be perfectly sunny, and I promise you within 10 to 15 minutes, the whole valley can be completely inundated with clouds. I mean, seriously, like, look at this. This is so beautiful. Here's our golf course. I always point out our beautiful golf course. In the summertime, you guys who aren't into the whole lake thing, even though I know everyone is except me, like uh, I grew up on the water in Newport Beach, literally on the water on a little private island um, back when uh, um, my parents were doing extremely well. And now I, I help them out each month uh, for the past four and a half years. And it's been the biggest blessing because I was I was such a punk kid like used to take from my parents and I'd feel bad about it but I would still still do it and now they they lost everything and I wish they still had everything but I'm so glad that like you know I can send them a couple bucks each month and 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 help out it's not much like I'm left with with basically nothing each month but that's okay I would be homeless to keep my parents uh, with a roof over their head or driving a car or whatever I can do. So, uh, I love you mom and dad. I love you guys so much. Anyway, we're coming up to bear. Um, oh, it's so cool to see these clouds rolling in. Um, and to see some of the snow flurries, the, the drilleries, drilleries, drizzle flurries. That word will never ever catch. So I'm not going to say it anymore because it's, it's pretty dumb. It makes me sound as dumb as I look. <laughs> Oh, there's some some snow falling, guys. The temperature here at Bear Mountain is 33 degrees. It is exactly 12 o'clock, guys. Look at that. You don't have a stop sign. You can go, my friend. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. You guys know we do this view all the time. Oh, it's so beautiful. These people at the resort must be so happy right now. Because literally, I've been staring out the window like I usually do. Not expecting it to snow till about four o'clock, but a few of you have actually sent me some messages saying, hey, we're looking over by the Big Bear Dam and the Eagles cam is showing a couple snowflakes and it made me so excited. I am so excited about that. So th thank you guys for your help. You guys help me a lot. You guys help me get prepared. You guys are, you guys are like my weather correspondence, like seriously. And unfortunately guys, that Fox weather interview got canceled. Like. I, I felt so embarrassed because I told you guys so much like uh, about it's going to happen and shared with you guys what the emails say and what time it's supposed to be and please download the Fox weather app so you guys can watch me live. 
But you know what? It's it's bound to happen, you guys. It's whether it's Fox or something. That was never the goal anyway. Um, the goal was never to like really focus on growing this channel, as a lot of you know who have been watching for years. Because I just started three weeks ago asking for likes and subscribes. Um, so the first eight years, I didn't do anything. I, I never asked once. And uh, so hopefully, if this channel does grow and uh, I get more notoriety up here. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, news stations and stuff like that, asking my advice and my assistance to help. And it would be an honor so I can help keep you guys safe or safer by showing you guys what's going on up here so you can see with your own eyes and also give you guys as much good information about this place as I can. I'm I'm not the, the know-it-all about my town. I'm I, st I still have a lot to learn about this place. You guys teach me stuff all the time. And when it comes to fishing, guys, I don't know a darn thing about this place because I don't fish. Even though I grew up on the water, I do not fish. Um, I just never had fun doing it. I went deep sea fishing once and I think I went fly fishing once. Um, like, yeah, it was awesome to spend time with, with my friends, but like, I really sucked at fishing, so it wasn't fun for me. And look at these clouds. Oh my gosh, these clouds rolling in. I want to pull over real quick so we can just look at the clouds rolling in over that, that hill really quickly. A bunch of people on the golf course uh, throwing snowballs. And look at that snowman. That is a great snowman. We're going we're gonna to turn around here and kind of park at the end of this street real quickly. I just got to make a U-turn up here. Hang on, guys. So yeah, it's 32 degrees now. We are at freezing. This storm is going to be all snow. So that is a huge blessing, folks. Huge blessing, because we want all snow, don't we? This might be, I can't remember, but it might be the first storm all season that's been all snow, which is kind of rare that it's taken this long, but typically our biggest storms, you guys, that produce the most precip are, uh, have a lot of subtropical moisture mixed in from the um the pineapple express so it, it's usually warmer to start but yeah just uh let's just take a nice look at, at how fast these clouds are rolling in it is so cool there's no one behind me trust me i will be keeping my eye out because i don't want to be a hypocrite but we're going to sit here for about a minute or so That snowman in front of us is awesome sauce. Guys, isn't that incredible? Look at how fast those clouds come. Get a different angle of some clouds right here. The snowman is straight in front of you guys on the left side of the screen. Angle it up a little bit. We gotta go back to this side because it's just crazy how fast these clouds are coming in. Hope you guys are having a great day. Once again, I love you guys so much. You guys are so unbelievably kind to me. And you guys are so good, just such good people. Thank you again for helping Chris out at Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. Um, I mean, you guys really know how to make people's days. Just your comments alone are just so incredible, so beautiful. The humanity is second to none on this channel. Thank you guys. Absolutely incredible people. favorite things about Big Bear is watching the clouds come come in. All right, 
Hey, there goes the sun. Just awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna take off. We are going to take off. Look, we got clouds all the way over there. We just got this little blue patch right here. It looks so beautiful. Let's zoom in on that snowman though. Look at how perfectly and symmetrical that thing is. What a beautiful snowman. Those kids and their parents did a wonderful job. I love seeing that. Man, I, man, I love that. I freaking love that. And that snowman had some big branches for its arms. So um, unlike the one over at the lake when we did the, the walk, the lake walk, um, that guy needed to work out, that snowman. He had twigs like my arms. So I think we are gonna kind of just, I don't know if we're gonna go through the village right now, but we might, we might. We're gonna go through the roundabouts. A lot of locals that I've talked to hate the roundabouts. There's not, or actually no, there's been one, one person who likes it and thinks it's a, a good idea. And they are very smart people, but I completely disagree. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I love all the lights along the road here, but when it's nighttime, it's way too bright. It like feels like you're in a shopping center parking lot. It's way, way too bright. If it had like a, like a, like a yellow tint to it, or or like something, or a red tint to it, it would be so much more pretty, so much more tolerable. Yeah, we're on Moon Ridge Road. Here's the the second roundabout from the new roundabouts. We're going to turn left here on Evergreen to kind of cut through over to Summit Boulevard. Once again, y'all, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, thank you guys for constantly showing me love and support. I love doing this for you guys, especially because you guys show so much gratitude. Um, I'm always gonna do these videos. I started this channel, as many of you know, out of depression. That's why I moved up here to be in the snow so I could live my miserable life in the snow instead of somewhere else so I can at least find some happiness because the snow brings me happiness no matter what I'm going through. So, um, yeah, I started this channel because also I couldn't afford thumb drives to save my videos to watch it snow. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have a great idea and I'll post them on YouTube because it's a free cloud to store them on. And I made the videos public and this is what happened years and years later. So it turned into something I never expected. Someday, if I'm super, super fortunate, maybe it'll pay my bills. Who knows? But I'm just, no matter what, I'm going to be doing this until... I can't do it anymore. And obviously you guys, when the snow picks up even more, I'll be going out to uh, do more and more videos. But I like to, as soon as I see the first snowflake at my house, that's when I like to run out and start, start recording. So obviously it's gonna start snowing a lot heavier, but uh, I gotta let you guys know when it begins. All right, let's do this. We're coming up to Summit Boulevard up here. I will turn left and see if they'll let me like make a U-turn in the parking lot so we can at least check out Snow Summit. A lot of times they're very, very tough, so we'll have to see. Okay, Summit Boulevard, y'all. And then I'm also gonna show you guys in some some videos eventually the Tesla charging station. There's a new Tesla charging station. I have to find out where it is again, but a lot of you have been asking me to make a video about that. And I think it's a very pertinent video because there are so many Teslas up here, you guys. So many of you are freaking driving amazing Teslas. And that makes me really happy for you guys. 
your guys' hard work in life is definitely paying off. Um, you guys all deserve a Tesla. You guys all deserve to be happy. You guys all deserve, even though the material stuff doesn't matter when it comes down to it in life, you deserve everything happy. And you know what? They're not gonna let me through, dang it. So we're gonna actually turn right here, but let's just get a quick look. There's no one directly behind me. There's no one behind me. All right, so we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna go through this street until we get to, I think it's called Thrush, which is the street that people exit the ski resort on. Guys, these spots right here are right at the base of Summit, my goodness. Right at the base. I can't imagine how much these places cost to rent. Because that would be the ultimate ski trip, is to come stay in one of these spots because you won't have to pay for parking. Well, obviously, you're gonna be paying for parking because you're gonna be charged a lot of money to stay here. But uh, you're not gonna have to pay the extra parking. You can, you don't have to wake up too early to make sure you, you, you get there for the opening buzzer, the opening bell. It's just a wonderful thing. Great place to be. Thankfully, Big Bear is not a big town anyway. So basically, no matter where you're at, it's, it's not going to take you too long. But a lot of times when we have good snowfall, um, the traffic to get to the resorts, especially when you're on the roads that lead you to them, are very, very, very impacted. And it can take you a long time to get there. But hopefully the anticipation keeps you guys feeling good, feeling happy. We're gonna take the back road into the village, guys, instead of, or well, actually, I want you guys to see what it looks like on, on the boulevard right now. Usually we would turn left at this next street called Brownie. Hello, Mr. Birdie. So we're gonna turn left here on the boulevard, though. Still getting some very light snow flurries coming down. I really didn't want to make too long of a video for this video, but it looks like no matter what I do, it always ends up being a longer video. Looking at. There's a lot of traffic right here. So we're gonna have to make a quick little maneuver here after this guy is going super, super slow. And we're good. Yeah. All right, guys, we're coming up also to Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company on the right-hand side. And then also, if you guys like really sweet, just yummy, yummy food as well, that is so filling and really fresh fruit and just really sweet, Nutella and all this stuff, there's a place called the Crepe Cafe on the left-hand side up here. I'll show you that also. We'll interview the owners of that place as well one day. Um, and just get a glimpse of what that place is all about for you guys. It's it's a wonderful, wonderful establishment. The owners are such a cool husband and wife couple. They are so freaking cool. They actually just moved up to Mammoth. Um, they were looking for the longest time for a place up there, so they've been airbnb their house here over by Bear Mountain. And uh, just the nice guys, just like Chris, just the nicest people. She's from France, and I can't remember where he is from. He's from here, like uh, the U.S. of A. But uh, yeah, they're just they're they're an incredible couple. And here we go. So Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company is just past this fire station stoplight, 
right underneath that big sign where it says mountain preps chain control needed mountain areas there's the big bear coffee roasting company right there guys Woohoo! what up chris and then this place right here is the crepe cafe right here to the left So it's basically right across the street from him. And hang on, we're gonna go into the village right here. It's pretty packed over here, but not as packed as I expected it would be today. I think a lot of people had to check out today, which they did because it's Sunday. And so a lot of people left. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for the people who had to leave today because I'm sure they wanted to be in this snowstorm. But for the rest of you, I am super happy for you guys. You guys get to come up and be in the snow when, when, when you can. A lot of you, just like I would try to do in the past, is drop everything when it was really hard for me. But you know, sometimes I could drop everything and come up here. And a lot of times I'd come up here and uh, it wouldn't snow like it was supposed to. So that's kind of a bummer. But we're gonna turn this off until the light turns green. Hang on. All right, here we go. Coming into the village, folks. This is one of my favorite places to stay, the Robin Hood Resort. And it's such a perfect location too. Everything in the village is walking distance, obviously, because you're right here at the beginning of the village. Great, great place to stay. Another high-end restaurant in town, the Peppercorn Grill. Really, really great food, fantastic steaks. Um, a, a bit pricey, but my favorite restaurant in town, um, when I can afford it, is Captain's Anchorage. I, I love prime rib. And funny enough, they actually make their own beautiful, uh, um, like, oh my gosh, what's it called? I don't wanna say horseradish sauce. Whatever sauce you put on prime rib, I, for some reason I'm spacing the darn name, but uh, I actually sneak my own in. <laughs> it's this special one from the grocery store that is just, oh my gosh, it's to die for. Um, theirs is super, super good too, but like I've just always been really partial to the, the, uh, the other special one. And guys, we are gonna do a walk through this whole, whole village just so a lot of the stores that we end up passing um, and you guys don't really get to see what we have up here, you'll, you'll be able to see. So I'll do a walking video soon. It would be cool to do a walking video with uh, um, snow falling, but we'll see. It would probably take me about 30 plus minutes to walk both sides up and down the whole village which includes turning right here and doing all these shops and then crossing the street at the end and coming back the other way i've been thinking about how i'm going to do that if i'm going to walk on one side of the street but record the other side of the street because it'll be easier to see what's on the other side of the street and same thing when i'm coming back the other direction so this place used to be the cave and now it's a sports bar I'm not into the drinking thing so I'm probably never gonna go in there and then also there's a cute new shop in here called Queen Bee honey shop once again owners are super super cool they have an amazing product um, I've, I've tried a lot of their products and uh, very, 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 very good stuff. My wife especially loves it. Oh, real quick, Oakside Restaurant. Another great, great spot. Um, kind of mid-priced, but really, really, really quality. And then this place, I was looking online to stay here midweek this week just to see what it would cost. And some website showed me like $1,100 per night. I couldn't believe it. It used to be like $300 per night. Um, and I think it's a timeshare property that one on the left that I just just showed you but uh um yeah I, I could not could not believe that 
it's midweek, no holiday, nothing. So it, it's it, it's pretty sad how much these places are charging people. Um, I do anticipate quite the crash happening here in this town and in the whole country, but this town's gonna get it. And then that'll be a good time for all of you to come up, take some time off of work and come enjoy this place. A lot of these spots I noticed, like when I looked at my Expedia account, um, like there was one place, it was like $180 per night. And so I clicked on two nights and the total was like $1,000 because there's like a huge like resort fee or like local something fee, like just, just stupid stuff. I mean, you can't take advantage of people too much, you guys, um, and get away with it for that long. You can't dip your hand into the cookie jar that much. I think this place would do better if we did better pricing, just like less taxes, lower taxes, and it'll give people the willingness to take risks, create more jobs, help people out because they're not being inundated with BS taxes. And I think the same thing when it comes to the housing market. Like if you give give people a chance to rent something for a fair price, you know, there, a lot more people will come. And then they'll use their word of mouth and tell other people. Because yeah, we have a very low recidivism rate of people coming up here. Like it's, it's pathetic, it's really sad. I tell you guys all the time, it's less than 15% of people ever return to Big Bear after their first trip here because of so many issues. Um, and I know that that sounds like a BS number, but it's not like, like where I worked at, at Bear Mountain for our orientation, I've told you guys this numerous times, that was something we focused on for a long time. And so they had to create what's called the Big Bear Way, which is just like certain ways to treat people up here, which for me, it's all common sense. Just show people love and respect, like pretty simple. Um, but yeah, they, they did about a 40 minute segment during the the orientation before we actually started the job and explained to us that less than 15% of people ever come back to Big Bear. I mean, I thought it would be like at least 50% do come back because it's one of the only places to ski in Southern California and like the only real four season resort up here or in Southern California, obviously Wrightwood, but this is considered our only real four season resort in, in Southern California because of how cold we actually do get in the winter time. Wrightwood does too, but they'll have lots of nights that are above freezing um, in, in the winter time. <clears throat> but yeah, I want you guys to come up here, enjoy yourselves. That's why I try to hook you guys up with like uh, shortcuts and um, try to help you guys out the best I can so you guys can enjoy yourselves. And once again, guys, the Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. And here's the, the Crepe Cafe. It is in a, guys, I'm telling you, if you guys like the sweet foods, you guys are gonna absolutely dig that place. Fresh fruit, the crepes are amazing. It's my friend's wife, uh, um, it's her family's recipe. It's it's really, really, really good. All right, so we're heading back to the Moon Ridge area. Really happy you guys came along with me on this journey again. Once again, as soon as I see it starts snowing, folks, like I like to record it for you guys. As soon as the first snowflake comes down, I'm very OCD about it. I really am. And the fact that I've learned over the years that it actually helps people somewhat get prepared for what they want to do when it comes up to their journey up here. Um, I'm really, really grateful that I can do this for you guys. It really is amazing that I can help people like this. It's, I, I never saw that coming either, that it would be so helpful. I knew it would be helpful for my depression. Because some of our huge storms, I, I still watch bits and pieces of those videos and it just, it just brings a smile to my face, especially in the summertime when I'm yearning for snow. So as you guys can see, the boulevard isn't too crazy right now. So 
that's a good thing. Um, I don't think it's going to get much worse than this today, you guys. So at least you, there's a lot of people out here, but the traffic's flowing smoothly. I think you guys will be good. When you come up here, bring your tire chains, please, just to be safe. It's very important just to be safe. I think they're going to implement chain control. No, uh, I think that's going to be a no-brainer. Um, and then also, please, please carry a lot of warm blankets in your car warm clothing, enough food and water to last you a few days just in case you do get stuck. Um, it's really important. Let a few people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you when you've arrived safely. And it's really important also, guys, this is this is one of the most important things as well because if you do get stuck, make sure before you come up the mountain, stop at the closest gas station to the base of the mountain and fill up your gas tank just in case you get stuck so you have plenty of heat, okay? I don't want you guys to get stuck and then run out of gas. That that would be miserable. In the snowy uh, conditions, guys, we can actually run out of, um, or run out of, AAA can take over 24 hours to get to you. So you gotta be super, super vigilant and make sure you're very prepared because I want you guys to be safe up here. I want you guys to have a good time. So fill up your gas tank at the bottom of the mountain. Make sure you have food and water to last you a few days just in case in, in the car. Bunch of warm clothing, blankets, to stay warm in case you don't have gas in your car and uh just let a few people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you i love you guys with all my heart i really love you guys so much you guys have been so impactful on my life my life is so much better with all you friends in my life you guys are more than friends you guys are my family and i just want you guys to know i cherish each and every single one of you so much thank you for supporting me thank you for showing me so much love and it's january 29th so yeah 29th 2023 Watch out, squirrel. Watch out, squirrel. Take care, you guys. I love you guys a lot.